Plate Gate Scandal. Okay, that's it there. It's right behind that gold van. It's that that red Lesabre. Bill's in there at Traveler's Inn. He's been there since uh, oh 8:30. It's got to be at least oh I think it's about 9:30 now, maybe later. Just having a leisurely breakfast. I'll record more. Okay, so here we are again. There's the Lesabre. As you can see, it has dealer's plates. Right there. Hey Bill. Hey Robert. How you doing? This is my wife's cousin. Really? Yeah. So how do you feel about winning? Good. I'm sorry, are you? I'm Judd Hoff, you remember me? Oh yeah. So what you doing today? Uh, having a private conversation here. And oh, okay. Well, you're a public official. You don't care to tell me what you're up to, huh? Uh, you know what? Uh, Anything vague? Uh, nothing. It's actually, actually state business. Yeah. State business. Okay. Thanks. So there you have it, folks. He's conducting official state business straight from his own mouth with a dealer in transit licensed car, which is supposed to be used only for the business of the dealer. And he says he's doing state business. Must be nice to get perks like that. Wish I were that entitled. I tell you what, some of these privileged class people sure get a lot of perks, don't they? Anyway, the cops are coming, so. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens. He'll probably come up with some lie or excuse. That was Robert. He's a nice guy. I don't know what he's doing hanging out with Bill. So I'm still waiting for the cops and I wouldn't expect too much. I just informed the officers of the situation and they look very bleak. They don't look like they want to do anything. But I think they know they gotta. Bill should be out. I saw him grabbing his coat. And I called the state office and asked them about those plates. And that's what they told me. They're only used for transporting vehicles from dealer to dealer, dealer to customer, or auction to dealer, or vice versa of any of those three combinations. Okay. Like I told when I talked to him without you there. I'll stay right here. We'll see what kind of cockamamie excuse he comes up with. There he is. There he is driving it. There he is. Right there, see him? There he is. See it? Lee Motors there. There he is. Care to answer any questions? Yeah, isn't that, isn't that amazing how ignorance is a perfect defense for you, but not for me? What would you like answered? Well, what are you doing driving this car around? I'll tell you exactly what I was doing. Go ahead. And back I've away never, from I've me. I've never, I've never lied to anybody about anything. Okay. I'm certainly not going to lie to you. Sure. Obviously, you don't like that I won my election. Is that correct? Or the Republicans won? Watch cut to the chase. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. No, I'm asking you a question. Is okay. That right? I, won't, I won't edit I it. I promise you that. I called here for an appointment for my wife's car a month ago to get a, a thermostat. Mm -hmm. Right? So they had the thermostat came in Friday. Mm -hmm. so I had to get this done. So I came in. I said, how long is it going to take? Two hours. Oh, we'll give you a lower car. You can. I said, i got a couple of meetings down Traveler's Inn. That's what I did. Okay. This is the loaner car that mm -hmm. was given. I bet you'll look at the plates a little more oh, careful next oh, time. I'm, I'm, you know, quite frankly, I didn't look at the plates because I assume that's what they do. And I know they do that for a lot of people. Well, they're going to have to change their practice, aren't and I they? I think if you go down the street here to the old Steinbrings, mm -hmm. you'll find the same kind of policy there. Okay. Maybe you should go they're, follow They're going to have to change you know, their maybe, policy. Maybe you should follow some of those people around. How many, how many well, cars do they get to drive that? around all over like they want when they're supposed to only be issued for driving why, why, from, why, from one sale to another? Why are you following me around? If I I'll you tell you why, and I'll do this off camera. You know, that's wonderful. I think that's a worthy, a worthy thing to invest a person's time in because it really does demonstrate how he feels like he's above the law and is corrupt. Uh-huh. You know, so I also found out, re 
let's see, when there was a state trooper on open line, I talked to a state trooper, and he told me that um, they're not even allowed to use regular dealer's plates as loaners. They're only for the dealer owner and his spouse. Okay. Not even his children. So that makes it, like, even more crystal clear that they should have known unequivocally that those plates weren't, that he couldn't drive legally with those, you know. I mean, they were kind of waffling about, well, we're not sure what kind of plates they're allowed to use for loaners, and blah, blah, blah. The, the fact is, is that for loaner plates, they're not allowed to use anything other than a regularly plated vehicle with regular registration. Uh -huh. So their pretense of not being sure was just a complete fraud and uh, an act. So, you know, and Bill being sheriff for 20 years should have known, known that. Well, of course, it's, it was a cover-up. I mean, that's why they're trying to smear you and trying to smear me. Yeah, they, they try to make us look like we're, we're, like we're, you know, picking at straws with it, but the fact is, you know, he, he really knew better and, and shouldn't have gotten the vehicle again. I mean, regardless of whether he first noticed it or not, you know, he, he, once he was made aware of it, there's, there's no way with his, you know, blustering about his decades in law enforcement that he should have ever got back in that vehicle and, drove, and returned it to the dealer. He never should have, he should have, like, treated it like the plague. I mean, be, especially being an elected official, he should have just, he should have just said, I don't need this, 